Hey camp, Coach Scott here, back with you for Camp Abilities Tucson 2021 Strength Training. So this year, <clears throat> what we get to work with are exercise bands, or they have various other names. You can call them super bands or resistance bands. But I think for Camp Abilities Tucson, we're going to call them super bands because they're like supersized rubber bands. You each should have three super bands. Um, they are a little less than arm's length wide. They have a grippy rubber strip that runs the length of the inside of the band. And then on the outside, there's a little black tag that has some tactile lettering on it. The big letters is the name of the of the brand of, of Superband, and then the small lettering are the um, are the weight. You have a light, medium, and heavy. So I like these um, because they're black with white print, so um, they're easy to see if you have low vision, like Coach Scott, so I like white print on black stuff. Um, so that's kind of how the, the bands are constructed. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, we'll go through a couple safety tips and, and um, advice on using the bands. I'll show you a couple basic exercises. Um, but this is our intro to super band for camp. So uh, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have a good amount of space around us so that we're not hitting anybody if the band snaps off it doesn't it doesn't hit anything or or hurt anybody you want to make sure you have comfortable shoes on because we're going to use our feet as anchors for the band so comfortable shoes a lot of space make sure you're good and warmed up um picking the weight of the band coach scott i have a um i have a light band right now so picking a weight of the band you can either try it with your arms and go from you know light to medium to heavy. They are noticeably different um, resistances, so you can you can try them that way to get a gauge of how heavy they are. And what I want you to do to try um, the weight that works best for you is I want you to take the band and I want you to put it under your right foot. Make sure the band is evenly spaced and almost directly under the middle of your foot so that it's well anchored and won't come loose. And then what I want you to do is I want you to have a grip on the band with your right hand, with your palm facing the ceiling, and you're going to push the band up over your head towards the ceiling, trying to get your arm as straight as possible. And if that's really hard, just do it really slow and controlled. Don't snap down when I want you to control it up and control it down. So in order to gauge that the light band is the best for you, be able to do that 10 times or 12 times. If that seems easy, try the medium band. And that may be a better, a better weight for you. So we'll do 10 on the right and then we'll switch it to the left. Remember, plant it under the middle of your left foot, grab it with your left hand, palm facing the ceiling, and then push the weight towards this, push the band, the super band, towards the ceiling 10 times to be sure that that is the right weight for you. So again, I'm using the light band. It might be a little light for Coach Scott, but that's okay. This is a good warm up as well. And the idea behind strength training while we're doing our warm up, eight, nine, 10. The idea behind strength training is not only to stay active, stay moving, you know, get stronger, but to also prepare your body for certain sports that you're going to be doing throughout camp and that you might be playing in school or, or what have you. So, this week, you're going to be doing some soccer, some shot put, some bike riding. So we want to do exercises that are uh, mimicking the body movements that we're going to be doing in those particular sports. So the warm-up that you just did, 
to pick the weight of your band served two purposes. It was a warm up and it was also to warm up your, to use the motion of your arm and your shoulder for a uh, sport such as shot put. So now we're, we have strengthened, you know, and warmed up our shoulders for when we do our shot put exercises. The next exercise that I want to show you in our intro video here is a side shoulder raise. And this will be another, uh, another exercise that will help strengthen our shoulders for sports such as swimming, um, you know, throwing sports and things of that nature. So again, take the band with the rubber grippy strip towards the inside of the band. Again, anchored under your right foot. Make sure your feet are about shoulder width apart. And then this time I want you to grab the band with your palm facing the floor and it'll be around your waist height. And then I want you to raise your right hand with, your, with the top of your hand towards the ceiling, straight up with a straight arm. This will be half of a written letter T on the right side. And I want you to slowly up so your arm is parallel to the floor and then slowly down. And you're gonna do that 10 times. And that works our outside or uh, deltoid muscle, which is good for swimming exercises swimming sports and things like that. We'll do that 10 times on the right hand side. And then I want you to switch to the left anchored under your left foot. Again, solid anchor, feet shoulder width apart, palm towards the floor. And then raise straight out to your side, arm straight and parallel to the floor, straight up, straight down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. All right. Now what we want to do is we're going to do two hands. We'll put the band under both feet. <clears throat> Remember, well anchored under the middle of our feet. We're going to grab the band with our palms facing down like we're riding a horse or riding a bike. Our arms will be a little bit about shoulder width apart, maybe a little narrower, whatever's most comfortable for you. Straight arms, straight elbows, and I want you to lift your hands straight up out in front of you till they're about chest height. And this is a good exercise for when we're going to do volleyball such as bumping. This is the same motion as bumping in volleyball. So we'll strengthen our shoulders and our arms in this position. So we'll do this 10 times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right. Now I want you to do all of that all over again. So switch to the right side under your right foot, right hand, and then we're gonna do half of our print letter T on the right hand side, lifting our arm straight out to our side till our arm is parallel to the floor. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Boom. Switch to the left. Uh, anchored under our left foot. Left hand straight up parallel to the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two hands, two feet to our bumping motion or our forward raise as we call it in weightlifting. So straight arms, palms down, hands straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. One more set of all three of those. Coach Scott's gonna add a little bit more resistance and go with the medium band, if it seems easy for you. As you go through these exercises, try a heavier band. Don't go too heavy, we don't want you to hurt yourself. Something that adds the right amount of resistance. It'll be difficult, but not impossible, uh, around the eight, nine, 10 repetition mark. So when you get towards the end of those sets is when it should be pretty hard, but not to where you're hurting yourself. So back to the right side under your right foot, palm down, hold in the band, and then pull it straight up towards the ceiling, straight arm, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch to the left, good anchor under our left foot, straight arm, palm down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Last one is our two arm or two hand bump motion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. All right. Now we're going to take our band. I switched to the medium, so you may need to be able to go up one. Um, we're going to do legs now. So, you know, for legs, we're doing some soccer. We're doing some running. We're doing um, tandem biking. You need nice, strong legs for tandem biking. So what we're going to do is we're going to step inside of our band like a hula hoop and we're going to put the band around the back of our waist and then we're going to do one twist in the band so it's like a a print letter x right in front of us and then this is going to be a challenging part coach scott has a hard time doing this sometimes but we want to put the band under both of our feet so our feet are about hip width apart the band is around our waist up high and under both of our feet down low, and there's an X, a print letter X, right in front of us about uh, even with our knees, okay? So you'll feel the stretch on that band. And what I want you to do is this is what we call our power stance, okay? So we're gonna squat down, pushing our bottom towards the wall behind us, and almost like we're gonna sit in a chair. You can raise your hands up a little bit in front of you for balance if you need to, squatting down till almost we're like we're sitting down and then stand straight back up. This is our super band squat. So that X is gonna go between your knees as you go down and then as you stand up, it'll come back in front of you, okay? So power stance, feet are parallel, about hip width apart. Sit, keeping your back straight. Remember, keep your back straight. Head up, chest up, sit, and we'll do that 10 times, okay? So practice that for a couple minutes. Sit, straight up, okay? An alternative to this is you could get in that same position. You could lay flat on your back on the floor. You could put the band either around your neck. You could hold it in your hands like we did with the bump raise. And you could do this laying on your back. I'm gonna put the band around my neck. So you wanna make a 90 degree angle with your legs and push straight out. So that may be a little easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna put a twist in it again and we can bring that back to behind our neck. Lay back, knees 90 degrees, feet off the floor, and push 
straight out. You can do this. What I would recommend is as an alternative, put your left foot on the floor flat, keep the band in the middle of your right foot as it's elevated, and you can push and do these one-legged or with one leg so that it's a little bit tougher. I'm stabilizing the band with my hands so that it doesn't bounce around. Nice controlled push until my leg is straight out in front of me. So that's an alternative that you can do laying down on the floor that you can try out for yourselves. So we're going to go back to the standing position now. If you want to do it laying down, I have my super band hula hoop. Make an X in the band, put it under my left foot, put it under my right foot, legs or feet parallel under my hips, sit for one, sit for two, let me turn sideways for the people at home, sit for three, four, Five. You can put your hands on your hips if you want to. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we'll rest that for a minute. For 30 seconds, rest that. We'll do one more set of ten. We got our hula hoop. Rest, get a sip of water if you need to. Catch your breath if you need to. All right, back to the hula hoop. Make an X in the hula hoop, cross it over. Under your left foot, under your right foot. And last time, 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Good job. All right. So that, Camp Abilities Tucson, is our intro to the super band. So practice that on your own. You can rewind the video. And you can go through all of those motions again. Do... 10 each time, you know, three or four times in sets, if you will, do three or four sets of 10. Practice that throughout camp week and uh, we'll add some more challenges uh, to, the, to the super band workouts uh, later on in the week. And the nice thing about the super bands is you can take them with you anywhere. They fold up really nice. They'll fit in your camp backpack, your suitcase when you're going on a trip, that sort of thing. So enjoy, have fun, be safe. Remember, if it's hard, you're working hard and getting stronger. So have fun. See you guys later.